The difference between um, standard notation and scientific notation is standard notation is just what a number normally looks like. And scientific notation is when you have like times 10 raised to whatever power. So they're gonna give you, um, it looks like two different problems. The first one, we're gonna write it in standard notation. When you have a negative exponent, you pick up the decimal and move it to the left that many times. And then when you have standard notation, you always write one non-zero digit, a decimal, and then the rest of the numbers until you get to a zero times 10 to the, and then however many times you had to move it to get to the end. So in this case, we had to move it three times. So it was times 10 to the third. So these are the two, two answers. Let's just go over the problems here. We're gonna write this number in scientific notation. I know that I'm gonna have a negative um, exponent because that number is less than one. So I count, the, I actually count the zeros. If you count the one on the right, on the left-hand side, then you'll get the exact number. So three. And I also can see, oh, I had to move it three times to get to the right of five. So either way, it was a negative three. Now, if I want to write this in standard notation, I'm going to write my one, one, seven. Now, I already moved it two times to get to the end of seven. So I take away two from seven, and I'm going to have five zeros. Now, Alex really likes you to have your commas in. So back up three, put a comma, back up three more, put a comma, and now that looks really good. So they will be thrilled with that. You won't get it wrong if you don't miss the commas, but then they'll tell you about it. Okay, so this one we're going to write in standard notation. This is a negative exponent, so it's going to be zero point. So that's one zero. I'm going to have five zeros, one, two, three, four, five, and then eight, nine, six moles per liter. Because I had to move it um, six times to the left, I'm going to have five zeros after the decimal. And then to write this in scientific notation, I'm just going to put the non-zero numbers times 10, and then I count how many, after the four, how many places there are. So you do count the seven, so that's one, two, three, four. So it's 10 to the fourth. And we'll do one more. Okay, we get to write this in standard notation. So again, you're do, gonna do 143. Now we just did two places, so we take away two from five and we need three zeros. Back up three and put a comma. This one is in scientific notation, so we do 7.68, and there's uh, one, two, three, four zeros, so it's a negative fourth. Anytime it's less than one, you're gonna have a negative exponent. Okay, that's the end of the lesson.